Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. We're continuing our simple platform game. Right now we have a situation where our uh, actor can uh, jump and land on platforms, but as you can see, it will go right through the platform if it hits from the bottom or on the side. So today what we're going to do is just uh, finish up the actor's movement and get this guy to land, uh, bounce off on the side. What we want him to do is, if he hits the side here, we want him to bounce like this. Going, and if we hit the top, he'll just stop and fall back down. So that's what we're looking for right now. So what we need to do right now, what we have to make, uh, oh, let me just uh, remind you, of course, this is uh, our current, this is where we are right now based on our previous lesson. So if you want to, uh, if you want to go back and watch those lessons, uh, you can see a link um, at the top of the screen. And also, uh, if you did do them and had trouble or don't want to do that part, you can always uh, download the demo lesson, which will be in the comments and at MrStewart'sLessons.com. Okay, so let me show you what we have right now. Uh, this is, um, right now, uh, we have a move command, which is called from the act method, a move method, uh, which controls how this actor moves. Uh, so it's... Uh, what we're going to do is this actor, we're going to want to have the actor detect platform to the left, right, and above as well. Right now, we have a, uh, a, an object called platform below, which is get one object at offset zero, ground height plus five, platform dot class. Ground height is the distance from the middle of the actor to the ground. So let's try and get a platform above as well. So we're going to get one object at offset, and um, get one object at offset starts right from the middle. If you notice above, we started looking right from the middle, and then we looked down, halfway down, which is the ground height, and then five more pixels, which is right down about here. What we want to do is we want to go in the opposite direction. So what we can actually do is just take what we have here. Well, the, the X, I'm sorry, the first we'll start with the X. The X is going to be zero because we're still right in the, we're right on the X axis here and the, the character's X axis in the middle. So the Y, we're going to go in the opposite direction from when we're looking at, at the platform below. So what I'll do is I'll just put this in parentheses and put a negative sign in it, which is going to have us look in the opposite direction for a platform above. And uh, the class we're going to be looking for is platform.class. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to add in something, look for a platform to the left and platform to the right as well. And we're also doing get one object at offset. And in this case, we're looking for, um, we're going to be looking on the x-axis. So on the x-axis, we have uh, something called side width, which is uh, from the middle of the character to either direction, which is uh, how many pixels it is from here to here, basically. So I'm going to say side, I'm looking to the right, so we're going to go in the positive direction in the x side width plus five in the y axis of course we're right on, we're going to stay right on level here so uh, I will say um, y, y dy equals zero and then again we're looking for platform dot class And then I'll just copy the whole thing for making a platform to left. And just like with above, we're just going in the opposite direction. So I'll just put the, this whole thing in parentheses and put a negative sign bef before it. 
So now we're now we know we're going to know if there's a platform above above to the right and to the left. But now we have to actually do something with that information when we receive it. So we're going to go down here. This this is uh, the the code here. This code in here was what determines uh, if uh, uh, if we hit the ground. Um, uh, if it keeps us level on the ground. So down below here we're gonna see if there's a platform to the right or a platform to the left. So or above. So let's start with platform above. If a platform above not equal null. Just to remind you again what this means, right? So uh, we're always every turn looking to see if there's a platform above us. It, most of the time, as in right now, there isn't, so it would be null. But if we're up here and we all of a sudden are about to hit a platform, then it will no longer be null, and uh, we will want to we we will uh, want to stop. We're not gonna we're not I'm not gonna have it bounce. I'll just have it. If it hits a platform above, it'll just stop and start falling. So if platform above not equal null. Let's just start right now and say uh, if we're going up. This should only matter if we're going up. So I'll say if delta y is greater than zero, then so this would mean delta y is greater than zero means we would be going up in this case for this to happen. Uh, the, so I don't know about a situation where we would hit a, the top of a platform otherwise, but just in case, we're only going to be doing this if we're going up. So I will say delta y. So that's going to stop us moving. And then we're going to make sure that we're, uh, if we happen to hit it, off that we like if we because it's it we're, we don't know how far we might have moved so we might be like right here when we hit it we want to make sure that we get moved right back to the very top of the platform before we start falling uh, just to make the, uh, the the code look right so Delta so we're gonna say we're gonna get the image of the platform platform above dot get image <coughs> so um, we're, we're going to get the image and then we'll say int bottom of platform which is where which is going to be this the x the y coordinate right here wherever that is at the bottom of the platform is equal to platform above and then the y coordinate um, plus right so we're doing plus because we're gonna so the the platform above dot get y is gonna be right here right in the middle right plus half the height of the platform image so We'll do platform image dot get height divided by two. So that's going to get us to the bottom of the platform. And now we'll place the character which the new y is up here. We declare the new x and new y, which is where we're going to be at the end of the turn. So we're going to change before the end of the turn we're going to change where we end up at the end of the turn that means we never have a period where our heads stuck inside the platform um, we're always we're going to so we're going to say new y equals bottom of platform which is here right so we want the bottom of the platform which is right there plus half the height of the character which is the ground height which is the same going from top to as going from the top is going to the bottom. Okay, so let's just try this out and make sure it works. Sure enough, notice we hit our head and we don't we just 
start falling here. We never go over the top of the platform. So now all we have now the only issue we have is that see if we hit the platform from the side, we still go right through, which is wait, oops, not so easy to do. But if I you see that if I hit the platform from the side, I go straight through, which isn't quite what we want, doesn't quite look right. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna just uh, we're gonna we, we're gonna do the platform to left and platform to right. We already put this code up here. We know where the platform to left and platform to right is. Actually, this is uh, uh, easier. It's, this is only just a little bit of code. Uh, we don't have to worry too much. Um, we don't have to worry too much about uh, uh, hitting the about. We, we don't have to worry too much about um, placing our guy exactly. We're just going to have it bounce off the side of the platform. And um, if platform to right, I'll just copy this because that's a lot of typing to do. Not equal no. So if platform to right not equal null, we're just going to bounce off it. And the best way, and the way to do that um, is we'll say delta x equals, and uh, we're just going to, what we're going to do, so if we hit the platform to the right, we're going to want to be going in a negative direction. We're going to make sure we're going in a negative direction. So I'll say math.abs, this is called the absolute value. Absolute value means that we're um, just dropping the sign of the number and making it a positive number. Times negative one. Um, we're making an absolute value because otherwise there's a, we could get a, a situation where we could start jiggling um, because it keeps switching, multiplying by negative one. And so this is gonna make sure that no matter what, our uh, delta x is gonna be going to the left. It's gonna knock us to the left no matter what. And you can probably figure out pretty clearly what the next one's gonna be, what the uh, platform to left is gonna be. If platform to left not equal negative one, then we're going to want to make sure that our delta x is positive going to the right. If we hit a platform to the left, we want to make sure we're going to the right. So that's going to make us go to the right no matter what. And uh, so let me show you what that looks like. If I can just uh, succeed and oh, compile it here, succeed in bouncing off a platform going to the right. Oh, that leads to another problem, which I'll handle in just a sec. Yeah, I see it. There we go. Now you notice what I really like to do is bounce off here to the side as well. So I'm going to show you uh, how we're going to make that happen. How we're going to make sure that uh, we bounce off to the side as well. So, so let's start with hitting the left side of the screen. So, so I'm going to say if get x less than or equal to side width, which is just the width of our character, right? So it's going to be zero, which is the left side of the screen, basically plus uh, half the width of our character like this, right? So when we that's when we hit right here. So that's from here to here. When we hit our our get our x will be the width half the width of the character, which is side width. So that's going to be the left side of the screen. And so greater, less than or equal to side width, then we're going to want to bounce to the right. That means we're going to want our delta x to go in a positive direction. And uh, then we're going to see if we hit the right side of the screen, it's greater than or equal to the world width, which is the width of the world, which we declared up above minus side width. Okay, so that's going to mean if delta x is greater than or equal to the world width minus the side width, that's going to look like this, right? World width is right here. 
and then side width is half the width of the character so that's going to mean we're about going to be about right there right then we're going to hit the right side of the screen keep going to the wrong window and then we're going to want to make sure that our delta x is bouncing to the left so let's just take a look at how this looks we're going to bounce off to the left there we go we're going to bounce off to the right. There we go. Actually, you can't quite see this full screen, so you can't see that we're on the right there, but you can see. Now we bounce in every direction. And uh, looking pretty good. So now we have our, um, now we can go to bounce it, basically move the way a platform uh, actor should be moving, which is jump, run, uh, bounce in every direction and in the next lesson we're going to start putting in some bad guys so i will see you then